what's up nail tribe welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome in i'm so excited to have you today i'm going to be doing a set of vertical ombre fade rainbow nails we're at the end of pride month and i felt like this set was super super cute um, and summer inspired with all of our fun neon colors i will list everything that i'm using down below getting out my Mia Secret Monomer and my first two colors. I will be using my Kira Sky brush and my Mia Secret primer as well. And we're just gonna jump right into this set. I do wanna say ahead of time, my apologies. Some of this is going to be out of frame. I didn't quite realize that when I was filming. I'm still working on this camera setup. However, we do catch all of the important bits so I am going to let you guys watch me do this vertical ombre and I'll be back. So as you can see here, I'm going back in with the pink because I kind of want this to mimic like a fade across my entire hand and my thumb is the start of it. So I know right here you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you go back in with the purple fade or the green and blue fade because that's going to come on the thumb. But once I put my fingers together and kind of made that the nail fist, I like to call it the nail fist. Once I make the nail fist with my thumb, I wanted the colors to kind of ombre and fade all together, mimicking the rainbow. Um, I will admit my favorite color combo from this set is definitely this pink and orange. It is, I'm not going to spoil it, but by the end, I know for sure that's going to be my favorite. Thank you. 
So now that we've finished our ombre of colors, I'm really honestly already loving it. We are going to go in with this Valentino, uh, I believe this, oh my god, what is this? It's Blossom, I believe this color is. It will be listed down below. And I do want to point out that I was heavily inspired for this set um, by a set that I saw from Nails by Key here on YouTube she did a vertical ombre set and I honestly had never seen that before and I was like what so I definitely looked it up and I was like I don't know I just I heard a whole new world from the Aladdin movie playing in my head so this set is definitely inspired by that set if you have not checked out Nails by Key make sure you check her out she does some really amazing sets um, so yeah I'm gonna let you guys watch this portion of the application me applying those um, that top part of the ombre and my ombres are still a work in progress like I am NOT gonna lie to you some of these definitely come out better than others but you know what you gotta trust the process All right, my loves, so we have finished with that Blossom Pink Powder by Valentino, and they're giving a little chunky bumpy, but you know what? I'm proud of myself, especially as somebody who has only been doing nails since January of this year, 2024. I'm proud of myself. Speaking of being a entry-level student nail tech, I am so freaking terrified for school. If I have any nail techs watching this, I'd love to hear about your manicuring school process and experience because I am terrified. I was originally supposed to start school in May of this year and something happened where they didn't, they either didn't have enough people sign up or something was going on with the registration process. Um, so they pushed the class back to August and they were really super polite about it um, offered a refund if we wanted to go elsewhere or if we wanted to stay registered with them there would be a guaranteed class in August regardless of uh, student enrollment so I opted to go in August but I am so scared I know from what I've researched a lot of people say 
you really don't learn to do nails in nail school. You're learning more so about the hygienics and different nail infections and funguses and uh, diseases and things like that. However, the thing that I'm scared of is, to be honest, being too old. You guys, I'm over 30. Like, I'm not going to give y'all an exact number. I don't, I don't know you like that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe further into my journey, I'll give y'all an exact number. I don't know if I've said my age in a previous video before, but your girl is over 30 and I'm terrified of being like the oldest person in my class, but you know, I'm going to do it. Like I'm really excited. I'm not letting it discourage me, but it doesn't make me any less nervous. And I guess the reason I'm nervous about it when it comes to age is I don't know I've just kind of had this imposter syndrome that I've been working to overcome because I keep saying to myself like is this a young girl's thing like all these girls on YouTube doing these amazing nails I'm on Instagram these girls are doing amazing nails like sets I could only dream of being able to do and then it'll be like a day in the life with me as a 17 year old nail tech and here I am, girl, over here, over 30, and I'm like, oh my God. But I'm not going to let that stop me. I'm not going to let that stop me because just as much as I was worried about that, I started looking up like how many nail techs did get started in their late 20s or 30s or how many people are still doing this into their 40s and 50s. Like, are there nail techs out there who are still thriving in this industry over say you know the 40 mark and there is there's so many amazing talented artists that are thriving and doing well in this industry um, over the age of 25 35 40 so I while I'm still nervous I'm excited I'm really really freaking excited I will admit by the end of this I'm not gonna lie y'all this is probably my favorite set that I've done on myself and I'm going to stop rambling and let you guys finish watching this beautiful application. Um, we're going to get into filing here in just a second. So I'll just hush down, let y'all watch my filing process. And I don't know, enjoy that, that visual ASMR of nail dust flying all over the place. Oh, before I mic down, I will say this is the next day. I end up going to bed. I did this set. I started this set at like three o'clock in the morning. And by the time I was finished, the birds were chirping and I was like, I'm going to wash these with a nail brush, go to bed. And I decided to change the background to the white paper towel for you guys, because I don't know what it was, but that green freaking dental bib just looked awful on camera, you guys. So I will do my best not to use those on camera anymore and source another really cute mat for us to look at while I work. But for now, I'm, I want to apologize to your eyes for the first half of this video. We're going to finish it up with the white um, background, but enjoy the filing. I'll be back for the nail art.
right, so we have finished our filing. We are back for our nail art process. I have dusted and washed my hand. I think this came out really, really cute. It definitely is giving more blended than ombre, but I'm totally fine with that. Um, and that top coat is gonna set it off, I promise. So let's dig into our nail charms. And we wanna mimic my left hand, but I wanna elevate it. And fun fact about myself, I'm actually left-handed, so when I use my right hand for application on to my left hand, I that's kind of the blueprint, that's kind of the test dummy hand, and then I like to recreate the design using my dominant hand, which is my left hand, onto my right hand, and just kind of elevate the design a little bit and make sure that it's refined, because trying to be ambidextrous as a nail tech is hella difficult but it is something that I really want to try to make sure that I do I'd love to become an ambidextrous person because what happens if I'm working and I break a finger or I break my hand I want to still be able to work is that something that nail techs think about like are there many ambidextrous nail techs out there let me know So for this nail, I did a blue and green rhinestone design. The rhinestone cluster that I did on my index finger on the other hand, I honestly hate it. <laughs> it does not match the set at all, but I did it, it's there, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, for this side, I wanted to kind of give like this yin and yang type of rhinestone French tip vibe. And I think it came out really, really cute. I am the type of person to, as I'm doing my nails, I do each individual nail start to finish. So once I do the nail art, I fully cure it and top coat it before I move on to the next nail. Why I do this, I don't know, um, but it's just super satisfying to start the nail art, complete the nail art, top coat, cure all that good stuff and move on to the next one. A little tip that I picked up from another YouTuber is when placing stickers, like nail art stickers, I like to use a little bit of the McCart glue behind those stickers. I just called it McCart glue. It's rhinestone. 
<laughs> rhinestone gel I guess it's still a glue but I like to put that behind my sticker and then cure my sticker on top of that before I move on to the rest of the design and the top coat I like it to be a really thin layer so it doesn't get bulky and it actually comes out really really nice I found these nail decals on Amazon and they're actually pretty decent quality. I'll definitely link them down below. So as you can see, I did use two of my nail decals from that pack and I am doing a bubble. I don't, what do you, is, I like to call it like the raindrop nail. I have no idea what it's like official trend name is, but I like to just call it the raindrop nail. On my left hand, I did two of those nails. On this hand, I decided to just do one because I really like this effect. And since this journey, since starting this journey as a nail tech, I've discovered so many nail trends that I'm late to. Like, apparently these little bubble raindrop nails have been a thing for quite some time and I'm just finding out about them. And as I'm practicing and learning how to do all these pretty designs I definitely like to incorporate stuff like that into every other nail set and I'm not gonna lie I'm in love I am obsessed right now with the super cute little raindrop nails for sure So for this nail, I just ended up using my little rhinestones and placing them on one half of the nail. Um, and like I said earlier in the video, this one ends up being my favorite out of the entire set. I do feel like I'm going to go back and create a full set um, inspired just by this one nail alone. I really enjoyed the design that I did on it. I enjoyed the color combo and... For me, it screams summer, and my wardrobe contains a ton of pink, so I can honestly tell you guys <laughs> in a very uh, near future video, we're probably going to do a full set inspired by this nail. It, it just turns out like mwah, chef's kiss for me. It's definitely going to be my favorite of the set. And for the pinky, we're gonna utilize a few more of our nail decals. I've already cured them, we're placing our top coat. And we're gonna use up those pink rhinestones because I definitely pulled out more of the little pink rhinestones than I needed. But I feel like they're gonna actually work on this orange and yellow nail quite nicely. So I'm just gonna create a cute little um, cluster design to try to use up a few more of those pink rhinestones that I pulled out of the tray. And if you're wondering why I flip my hand over, it's another tip <laughs> that I've learned from watching other nail content creators. And the, it causes your rhinestone glue not to run or drip. So if you flip your hand over, it'll create kind of a bubble effect or a pool and stay where you put it instead of running down the nail or spreading. And it actually works. So if you have not tried it with your rhinestone gels, definitely try it just even that couple of seconds of flipping your hand over while you get your rhinestones ready 
it helps that glue not to run all over the place. So we're finishing up the thumb and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did not know what to do with the thumb. Like my creative juices were right there on the tail end and I didn't know what to do with this nail as well as I fumbled these rhinestones. <laughs> like I'm fumbling I fumbled acrylic earlier now I'm fumbling rhinestones but it was a pretty easy cleanup uh, but I will admit this thumb is definitely my least favorite of the set design wise uh, I definitely thought about going back in and redoing it but I definitely love the lemon lime color combo I'm just an ombre person I love color so yeah I'll let you guys watch the tail end of this nail art process and we'll take a look at the full set. And that is it everybody that is the full set that is the right hand I definitely feel like the design is refined it came out a lot smoother and cuter than the experimental left hand I hope you all enjoy this video please make sure that you like and subscribe all that good stuff I can't wait to see you in our next video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy the set and until next time ciao